It's the 29th meeting of the Breeders' Cup this weekend, and as ever, Europe sent over a strong few horses. Aidan O'Brien won two races last year, but Paul, can he, can he win anything this year? Oh yeah, um, as you say, O'Brien was the only winner from Europe last year, and I actually think he's probably got our two best chances. Yeah, the best chance, I suppose, comes in the Breeders' Cup turf. Yeah, I mean, you know I'm not the biggest fan of St Nicholas Abbey there's ever yeah. been. Uh, but I think he's going the right way this time, and by that, I mean he's going left. Yeah. We both know he's zero for seven, going right-handed. So as far as I'm concerned, you can scrub the run in the arc. Now, the interesting thing is, for once, the Americans have got a serious contender. This point of entry comes in with a nice, unbeaten run. Uh, he's only rated a pound behind St. Nicholas Abbey. And the O'Brien team have got a fair idea of how good he may be through Treasure Beach. He's taken him on a couple of times in America this season. Come up short, but I think they know that St. Nicholas Abbey's probably just got that little bit more. Yeah. Just enough. And the thing is, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if Treasure Beach might not be run as a pacemaker, but he might well be up the front, yeah. just in showing that it's a he solid... He should say a good gallop. A solid gallop, just to see if this point of entry will really stay a fast run, mile and a half. Yeah. But actually, I think Charetta, the French filly, she could be a bigger danger. Yeah, and she beat the Fugue in the Yorkshire Oaks, and that's pretty strong form line. Oh, absolutely. Frankel might not be at the Breeders' Cup, but Acceleration, the world's second highest rated horse is. And, well, if Frankel wasn't around, he'd be the top miler in the world, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, take Frankel out and Acceleration is one very good horse. I mean, make no bones about that. Frankel's a superstar. This is an absolutely solid benchmark champion miler material. Uh, the Americans think they've got one in Wise Dan. They actually rate this possibly their best horse, Dirt or Turf, this season. Um, but the way I look at it, it's a pretty simple equation. Why is Dan beat um, Cityscape by four and a quarter lengths? But he was getting three pounds when they ran in Woodbine yep. uh, a few weeks ago. Now, Celebration beat Cityscape by three lengths at levels in the QE2 at Ascot last time out. Yep. To me, Celebration's ahead. And that was on soft ground, which probably isn't Celebration's best surface. Oh, best he'll know. Oh, Aiden O'Brien's already said it. Rattling fast ground at Santa Anita. I mean, it's, it's going to be that. Yeah. Absolutely suiting down to the ground. To be honest with you, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, and just a point on a wise Danny's won six of his last seven races, and that one defeat came over nine furlongs, and it was just by a head. So, I mean, the form's really there to give Acceleration a strong race. Oh, without doubt. But I just think that Acceleration's got too many guns for him. Yeah. Europe also have strong chances in the juvenile turf races, and Richard Hannon sends over Sky Lantern, and she won at the current a Group 1. Can she bring that form over to America? She can do. I mean, uh, both her and Dundonald, who's our chance for the juvenile turf, on form, they're the best. My only slight reservation in terms of them as actually betting proposition is, is they're two-year-olds, they're travelling halfway across the world. You don't know how they're going to step off the plane. And it's not a case of how they actually get there. Yeah. But until they run, you don't know how they've taken the flight. So that just worries me a bit in terms of the price they're likely to be. Can't knock them on form, though. Who, who would you prefer, Sky Lantern or Dundonald? Dundonald. Now, we've looked at the Europeans, but obviously this is set in America, and Americans will want to win everything. So what's their best chance? Um, Shanghai Bobby's going to take a lot of beating in the juvenile, the one that's run on yep. dirt. But this is Bob Baffert's turf. Sorry, I mean, this is Bob Baffert's dirt. <laughs> the old Silver Fox, as they call him, Santa Anita, his home track. So I can't see past Coyle in the sprint. He's already won a grade one course and distance, he's, to me, I think he could be the better of the meeting. Okay, now Bob Buffett runs Game On Dude in the Cup Classic, which is the biggest race of the, of the meet. Can Game On Dude win? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, you could probably get a decent classic field out of the three-year-olds who haven't made it there this yep. year. But of what's left, to me, Game On Dude, second last year, he ticks all the boxes. So give us your thoughts on who will win at the Breeders' Cup. We fancy St. Nicholas Abbey and X Celebration to be the bankers of the meet but we'd like to hear your thoughts. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and join us at better.com.